Naruto, 10 characters who can't fight without their jutsu. Some ninja rely on taijutsu and weapons, while others fight almost entirely with ninjutsu or genyajutsu. Without such powers, they're vulnerable. The Naruto universe's combat system is centered largely around ninjutsu, or supernatural ninja arts fueled by chakra. These ninja techniques come in a stunning variety. From illusory genjutsu spells to devastating moves such as Sasuke's Chidori or Naruto's staple, the Raisengan. Can these ninja fight without their jutsu? Some can, while others would struggle. Certain Naruto characters blend ninjutsu and taijutsu together, such as Kiba Inazuka, or rely mainly on taijutsu or weapons, such as Rock Lee and Ten Ten. Other characters, though, are either totally helpless or get a serious downgrade if their jutsu abilities are somehow lost. Which characters are vulnerable without any jutsu to call upon in battle? 10. Tamari who needs her wind jutsu to fight. It's a given that most competent ninja can provide at least token resistance without any of their jutsu, such as with entry-level taijutsu or throwing shuriken or kunai. Still, characters such as the wind-using tamari are greatly weakened without jutsu and can't keep up with taijutsu or weapon specialists. Being a native of the arid land of wind, Tamari uses an oversized fan to create wind-based jutsu such as wind scythes, one of her favorite moves. She can also fly around on that fan, and without such jutsu, Tamari is in trouble. 9. Kankuro, who controls weaponized puppets. Tamari's brother Kankuro is also reliant almost entirely on ninjutsu, but he doesn't use wind or sand for his techniques. Instead, Kankuro has learned how to perform puppet jutsu, animating wooden and metal puppets with long, thin chakra strings. The same is true of Sasori, a member of the Akatsuki organization. Kankuro is formidable when he uses these puppets, but without any puppet jutsu, Kankuro can't do much at all. Perhaps he can throw a kunai or perform basic taijutsu against a genin opponent. But even then, He's way out of his element if ninjutsu is absent. 8. Anoki, the elderly third Tsuchikage. The third Tsuchikage, Anoki, is in no shape to perform taijutsu. He is doing well for his advanced age, but ninja are still human, and he would probably suffer greatly if he tried to fight his foes with taijutsu alone. So, he uses ranged ninjutsu to do battle. In particular, Anoki likes to create earth golems to fight his enemies via proxy, and he can also use advanced jutsu to break down his enemies on a molecular level. His ninjutsu made him a dire threat to even Sasuke Uchiha and Madara Uchiha, but without it, he's just a bystander. 7. Deidara, the Akatsuki Explosives Expert If the villainous Deidara lost all his jutsu, he would put up a better fight than Anoki or Kankuro, but he would still be at a serious disadvantage. He couldn't possibly fight the Akatsuki's high-caliber enemies with just taijutsu and weapons. He'd better use his ninjutsu or retreat. Deidara is one of many anime characters who like to set off explosions. And his ninjutsu elegantly combines earth and fire releases to form this world's version of C4. Deidara can even fly high in the sky with a clay bird, or create tiny clay animals to blow up his enemies covertly. 6. Ino Yamanaka, the Sensory Kunoichi It's true that the Kunoichi Ino Yamanaka has some taijutsu skills, but that is not where her true strength lies, and Ino is in trouble if she must face a powerful enemy directly without ninjutsu. Ino plays a supporting role in the Ino Shikacho formation, and that's where she's most comfortable. If Ino can stay away from enemy fire, she can perform the mind transfer jutsu to totally disrupt the enemy's plans. And turn her foes against each other. Ino can also use her sensory talents to coordinate a team or track down her enemies. 
5. Kin Tsuchi, who uses bells needles in combat. Kin Tsuchi is one of the three sound genin who took part in the Chunin exams, along with Dosu Kinyuta and Zaku Obumi. Kin's combat style is based on mid-range fighting, where she can throw bells and needles to trap her enemies in sonic genjutsu. This can make anyone dizzy and disoriented for a time, even Rock Lee. Kin struggles in combat if things get physical. Though. She dueled Shikamaru Nara in the prelims, only to get possessed with his shadow jutsu, and she got knocked out from hitting her head once on the wall. It's clear that if Kin had to fight without those bells and needles, she'd go down quickly. 4. Kurina Yuhi, the Genjutsu Prodigy Kurina Yuhi has some taijutsu skills, but if she's resorting to that, then something has gone very wrong. As a jonin, Kurinai's taijutsu and weapon skills are at least adequate. But any dedicated taijutsu or ninjutsu expert could easily overwhelm her. She needs illusions to fight properly. Kurinai is one of the Leaf Village's most accomplished genjutsu users. And she likes to make plant-based illusions to trap her foes and capture them. She tried this on Itachi Uchiha, but he's even better at genjutsu, and he's better at taijutsu, too. Against most other foes, though, Kurinai will have the edge if her genjutsu is activated. 3. Nagato, who controls pain from afar. There was a time when Nagato could fight on his own, but those days are over. As of Naruto Shippuden, Nagato is an emancipated man who uses constant ninjutsu to control the six paths of pain from afar. He can't fight back if anyone approaches him, in fact, he can't even flee, with his arms in those devices and all. Nagato relies on his fellow Akatsuki member Conan to watch over him. And if all goes well, he can defeat any foe remotely with the six paths. If ninjutsu is out of the picture, then Nagato is absolutely helpless. He'd better hope it doesn't come to that. 2. Conan, the Origami Kunoichi One of the most reclusive members of the Akatsuki organization is Conan, a childhood friend of Nagato and Yahiko from their Land of Rain days. Conan is a ninjutsu specialist. Creating and controlling vast amounts of paper to attack her foes or create defenses. She can even make angel wings with all that paper. Conan is powerful, but without her ninjutsu. She would be hard-pressed to defend herself with simple taijutsu or knives. When Jiraiya the Toad Sage negated Conan's paper with oil, for example, Conan was practically at his mercy. 1. Karen, Sasuke's sensory ally. Karen trained enough to have some rudimentary taijutsu abilities as backup, mainly to evade enemy attacks and retreat. However, she won't get very far with taijutsu. Though. In fact, she's not much of a fighter at all. Karen is valued for her remarkable sensory abilities, which have helped Sasuke many times. With her sensory talents, Karen can detect whether a person is lying. And besides that, she can even create binding chains if the situation calls for them. If Karen loses all her jutsu, she will be in serious danger in battle.